The initial discovery of the Weenus Creek Mammoth was in the winter of 2005 during construction of a private road near the town of Sela, Washington. And what happened was the operator hit a big bone that was uh, over three feet long. You know, it was something unusual. It turned out to be a, a left humerus, that's upper left arm bone, to a mammoth. And after we went out and did some initial uh, checking, we decided to start a uh, summer field school using uh, techniques from several different disciplines in our investigation, including archaeology, paleontology, and physical geography. And we're hoping that by using these methods, we'll get a much clearer understanding of what uh, life was like in that valley about 16,000 years ago. When I'm uncovering a bone that's about 16,000 years old, I'm just thinking, wow, this thing has not seen the light of day in a really long time, and I'm one of the few people that can see it as it's been on Earth. Like, how many people my age can say that, you know? It's amazing. It's an amazing opportunity. Considering that in Washington there have been roughly 450 finds of mammoth, and in eastern Washington alone somewhere between 250 and 300 finds of mammoth, most people would say that this really isn't that big a deal. It's just another mammoth on the hillside, another mammoth on the landscape. But the problem is in central and eastern Washington, most of those finds are made in flood deposits, and they consist of single elements, so single bones, teeth, or tusks. When we got out to this site, it was clear that there was a scattering of bones uh, across the hillside. We very quickly uh, found other bones that associated with the original bone that we found. So we knew that, uh, at, at the very least, uh, this is what we call a multi-element site and therefore it's quite rare. When the mammoths were on this landscape uh, 16,000 years ago, we would have seen probably 70% uh, grass and 30% sagebrush, and just the exact opposite of what we see today. Probably the most striking thing for people to think of is really just look at this landscape, look at this valley. Look at the landscape around you. Imagine it being cooler, probably a little moister, and large critters running around the landscape. What I'm doing at the Weenash Creek Mammoth site is looking at the geomorphology and the, the stratigraphy or sediments of the site. And in doing that, we're trying to come up with a context for, the, for those mammoth bones and those bison bones that, that the excavators have found. The landform and the sediments really provide context for those bones. They tell us how the bones got there. They tell us what kind of environment the bones were deposited in. They, they give us a much more complete picture than just looking at bones. When you're out in the field, Lots of uh, work that catches the public eye a lot. And that's what people usually see and the most interest in. But that's really the first stage. After you do all of that excavation, now you have to spend a, almost an equal or sometimes more time in the lab getting all those materials cleaned off, examining them for damage marks, analyzing their spatial distribution, et cetera, et cetera. 
we're really pretty fortunate to have something so close to us that has such a great opportunity for us to be able to um, learn about the past in this time frame and uh, we hope we continue this for several years to come. <laughs> I want you to do it. I want you to duplicate some change. Duplicate. <laughs> <laughs>